Men and women were created in the image of God, sinless and perfect. When they disobeyed God, sin entered into the world and the godly image of man was tarnished. We needed somebody without sin to show us the way, so God sent his only son Jesus to be an example, to show us the truth and to be the sacrifice to remove sin from us. As I was reading this during devotion, I was encouraged in the following ways. Firstly, I was encouraged at the thought that when God became man in Jesus, he was the perfect sacrifice for our sins as nothing here on earth before the coming of Jesus was enough for the atonement of my sins. This gives me more reason to trust in him and place my faith on the finished work at the cross because he died and rose again. Secondly, Jesus is able to sympathize with our weakness as he was also tempted while here on earth, but he did not sin. This encourages me to freely call out to the Lord in times of temptation and suffering knowing that he will help me. Lastly, when Jesus rose again, he ascended to heaven with his glorified human body. This encourages me as I remember that when he comes back for his people, we shall be made to look like him and our humanly bodies will be fully transformed and we will also be glorified. Therefore, knowing that Jesus, who is God, became man and through his death was able to restore our communion with God, is calling us to have a relationship with him. I would encourage us to get to know him and look forward to having a relationship with him when he returns forever.